All right, the slowdown not really helping the realty sector or Unitech for that matter, but uh, it seems to be helping NMDC because it's going ahead with expansion plans at a time when you might not expect corporates to talk expansion. Rajkumar Sahu has an exclusive report telling us just why. The mega expansion plans of Indian steel makers has just got a new heads up as their plans to double capacity to 100 million tons will not go awry. Thanks to the biggest iron ore supplier, NMDC, which is all set to raise output significantly. I feel that during the next uh, three to four years, we should be increasing our production by about 65 to 70 percent. So where would the resources come from? The government of Jharkhand has already recommended allocation of one iron ore block to us. That is in Sasangora in Jharkhand. In Karnataka, we had been given a Kumashami mining, uh, mining block, which we are developing now. Another mine we are developing in Chhattisgarh, that is also in Baladala, that is called 11B. So these two new mines are coming up. Fresh lease in Sasangora we are supposed to get. In Karnataka we have requested for allocation of the fresh mining lease. Out of the five mines, deposit 13 in Baladila mines in Chhattisgarh have the biggest reserves of 300 million tons, while deposit 4 with 110 million tons will be used as captive for NMDC proposed three empty steel mill in Chhattisgarh. Production in deposit 11B in Bailadilla will start by December 2009. It is expected to hold 140 million tons of iron ore in reserves. And not to forget the 160 million ton Kumar Swami iron ore mines in Karnataka where NMDC plans to set up an integrated steel plant as per its forward integration plans and also to add value in the state from where it is getting the mineral sources. In New Delhi, Rajkumar Sahu, NDTV Profit.